Hi friends! In this video, we are going to be looking at how to make guacamole. Guacamole is a food, it's kind of like salsa, that you may have had at a restaurant before, or maybe you make it at home. Guacamole comes from the country of Mexico. It comes from the southern part of Mexico, and it's a food that people have been making for a very, very long time. And so I'm so excited to share with you how we're going to be making guacamole today. As you can see, I have quite a few things here um, for my guacamole making. In this bowl, I have a cut avocado that has the pit taken out of it. In this bowl, I have some salsa, about one fourth a cup of salsa. Some mild salsa is probably a good choice. In this bowl, I have a lime cut in half. In this bowl, I have some salt. This probably looks a lot like a juicer that you may have had in your classroom for making orange juicing. And this is a little citrus juicer, and we're going to use that for juicing the limes. I also have a large spoon, a good sturdy fork, and a measuring spoon for one teaspoon. So to start, I'm gonna make sure that I've washed my hands. I've already washed my hands so my hands are clean and ready to go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to take out my avocado, the meat of my avocado, the green part, and put it in my big bowl. So I'm actually gonna move my other things out of the way so you can see better. All right. Taking my spoon and I'm just scooping out the pieces of the avocado. And I want to make sure that I get all the meat of the avocado out. I could even use my fork to make sure I get it off my spoon. And when I'm finished with that piece of the avocado, it should look like this. All the meat is gone. This piece of the avocado can go in your compost. Do the other half of my avocado. And then just carefully Scoop it out. Whoa, that one came out all on one big chunk. Just a little bit left. Make sure I get all the good, good avocado in there. All right, so I have all my avocado in the bowl. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spoon to add the salsa. I'm just going to pour that salsa in there. Use my spoon to make sure I get all that salsa in my bowl. salsa in the bowl. Now I'm going to set this aside for a moment and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to juice my limes. I'm going to take my citrus juicer, I'm going to hold it with this hand so it stays steady, and then the lime is going to go right on this little point on the top and that's going to help me get the juice out. And just like with orange juicing, it's helpful if you twist as you juice the lime. I'm going to even use my palm so I can really press it on there to make sure I'm getting all that really good lime juice out of it. And that's what my lime should look like when I'm finished. I was making something with limes the other day and I noticed that when you close the limes like this, it almost looks like a little mouth with teeth. Here's my other half of the lime. Oops. All right. That lime looks like it's finished as well. I put my limes to the side. This is a special little part where I take it off. Oops. And this can go to the side as well. And then I'm going to pour in my lime juice. All right. And I have one more ingredient to add, and that is my salt. And for the salt, I'm just going to add one teaspoon of salt. Scoop out my teaspoon. And add it. 
put this to the side as well. All right, so now that I have all my ingredients in the bowl, I'm gonna get all of the other bowls out of the way. I just have my spoon and my fork. So these, all these things together, I'm gonna start to use my fork and I'm gonna hold it a little differently. I'm gonna hold it like this. And I'm gonna use it to mash the pieces of avocado. And depending on how ripe and soft your avocado is, it might take a little bit longer to mash them. Or it might not. It's looking like it was pretty ready to be made into guacamole. I'm mashing it by pressing the fork into the avocado against the side of the bowl. And it's mixing in with the salt and the salsa and the lime juice and then they keep going until it looks like it's all mixed together and it may take you a moment to do that. really well mixed. And I think, yeah, I think that looks good. I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So this is what mine looks like when I'm thinking that it looks like it's finished. It's all mixed together. And so the next part of your guacamole making is how you serve your guacamole. So over here, I have this bowl and this bowl was actually given to me by another teacher at our school, Jessica. And it is one of my favorite things to serve chips and dip in. And so in here I have some tortilla chips and this is a special little place for the guacamole. So I am going to use my spoon and hold my bowl very carefully and I'm going to empty the guacamole into here. sure I got it all out of there. All right. And so now I have put all together my chips and my guacamole that are ready to be served. And what we do in the butterfly room is I can either eat this guacamole and chips by myself, or I can invite a friend to have it with me. So maybe you could invite one of your siblings or your mom or your dad to enjoy some guacamole with you. I hope you have a fun time making some guacamole at home.